All right, if we win this war, we keep playing. If we lose, <laughs> that's it. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're gonna be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where you play every nation you for in 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with a very interesting start as the nation of Nevers. Nevers is a nation that starts off as a vassal of Burgundy, and as we all know, Burgundy is a super powerful nation in 1444. Not only do they start with Nevers as a vassal, but they also start off with Holland, Brabant, and Flanders over here as junior partners. And uh, the Burgundy AI is usually not successful if the Burgundian succession happens and they choose to become a junior partner under someone like France or Austria or someone else. They usually end up getting integrated and aren't too successful. Breaking free from Burgundy shouldn't be too difficult. I have played all of Brabant, Flanders, and Holland, and it is pretty easy to break free as these three guys right here. But of course, these three guys up here are a lot more powerful than Nevers is, and their position is a lot better as well. Usually, you're able to get someone like England, France, Austria, Savoy, Castile, Aragon to support our independence, so I don't think we'll have a shortage of supporters. But uh, still, I'm expecting the independence war to be harder than the junior partners up here. After that, expansion is going to be pretty tough. We're going to be stuck between England, France, Burgundy, and the HRE, and wars are going to be high AE and very difficult. So uh, I really don't know where we're going to go from there. And I actually haven't checked out Nevers' ideas either. We start off with a 10% infantry discount and plus two yearly papal influence, which is actually pretty good. Then we finish off with plus 10% infantry combat ability, production efficiency, stab discount, goods produced, morale of armies, fort defense, manpower recovery speed, and prestige. So Nevers' idea is actually really good. But what do we do as Nevers? Well, Nevers does have a unique achievement called the never say uh nevers where we need to own the entire region of france and it is a pretty difficult achievement and one i don't have so that's exactly what we're going to be trying to do today get the never say nevers achievement so let's jump in as nevers and uh and get that achievement all right, all right, here we are as Nevers. We start off as a regular uh, feudal nobility, no semi-unique or unique government type missions. Uh, yeah, just some, you know, uh, yeah, to get independent missions, then you're kind of supposed to form France. Obviously, we're uh, not going to be forming France at all. So, uh, yeah, let's take a look at Burgundy rivals, England, Austria, and Denmark. Okay, let's go here. Here, and England and Austria would support us. That's great. France, I guess they want our land. Yeah, and they're not even rival to Burgundy or anything like that. So hmm, with just these two guys, can we do it? I guess it depends on Burgundy's alliances, huh? So uh, yeah, let me get started by doing the estate setup and uh, seeing who we can get aside from England and Austria. Okay, estate stuff done. We're not actually making money at all, but let's see if we can get a Diplorep guy. We can't. That sucks. He's a level two guy. I don't have the money for that. So yeah, there we go. Austria will immediately support us thanks to religious diplomats, I think. Let's be threatened towards Burgundy as well. And uh, let's ask England right here and Austria immediately to support us. And uh, yeah, I don't know if we can get anyone else, man. Too bad they aren't rival to Savoy. Because Denmark can't can't reach us technically, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna improve with France here for a little bit. I don't know. Do we declare immediately? I don't think we can, man. Force limit is five, so let's just get two more guys. Um, and the free company immediately, I think. Yeah. Starting ruler is a two two two, and heir is a two 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 as well. Let's give them uh, both milk command. Actually, no, the heir is. Uh, no, the ruler's better. Now, Burgundy and France don't necessarily like each other, right? The French opinion of Burgundy sucks. The Burgundian opinion of the French sucks as well. The only reason they don't uh, like us is because they want our land, right? Yeah. I don't know if we can flip these guys friendly. Yeah, I doubt it. Nice. Of course, Burgundy has gotten a trillion allies. Yeah, we can't do this with just England and Austria. Not not because they allied. Yeah, because they allied Aragon. England-France war didn't happen, that's actually good for me. I did not want it to happen. Dude, if they didn't get strong allies and I could get like one more guy to support me, they'd probably let us go for free and I'd try establish friendly relations with them to get the succession. One thing we can try and do is wait for Austria to maybe get hungry, but that's so long. I don't know. Ooh, Burgundy is supporting Sweden. And Sweden is being supported by Poland and Lithuania and Burgundy. Dude, if these guys declare and Burgundy just goes over here to help out, that's the declaration. Yeah, there it is. So we're fighting... Who are we fighting? They actually have a pretty sizable size uh, of armies. Let's see what Burgundy does. And the thing is, Aragon still has Naples too, so we'd end up fighting them as well. We don't really want that to happen. Maybe like this though... If we wait after this, maybe Denmark won't be strong enough to stay a rival for Burgundy, and then Burgundy would have to rival someone else. Now, the only one we can hope for here is France, honestly. I, re I improved with them to the max, now it's just shrinking. I don't know, man. I don't know. Wait, what is this? It's not the same guy, right? 54. No, it's not the same guy. <laughs> oh, but this actually complicates things. Now Sweden is allied to them as well. 
Uh, there we go. At least Aragon lost Naples. Good event here. Okay, there we go. Sweden did break free. What the? Can you took this? Why and how? Okay, they've rivaled France. France still hasn't rivaled them back. They can't because these guys are still valid, but uh, it's still decreasing, man. There's still no way for us to get them. Denmark would support us now as well. They have a truce, though. No, Lottie's laws died. Austria isn't getting hungry. You know, we could actually swap to a Burgundian state here. I might do it later. Let's do strength them for now. There we go. Denmark still would support us later once their truce is up in about 12 years. They'll drag in Norway, of course, but at least they could keep Sweden busy. I, I really need France, man. There's just no freaking way to get them. Right, I was gonna dab for the Renaissance, but it's plus 50% because I'm a vassal. I got Friesland, too, for some reason. Well, that's a nice consort regent I just got. Oh. The Burgundian succession. <laughs> France is gonna lose this, though. Wait, wait, now is the time, isn't it? Sweet siege. That's very nice. Where can I run away to? Switzerland? We actually got pretty lucky here that he chose to remain independent because uh, if they chose France or something, I think we get insta annex by France. I mean, frick it. It's not like we'll get another time to do this. Let's uh, let's declare on Burgundy. I think, we, I think like this, we hop out of the France war as well. Yep, we did. All right, that occupation should go away now. And there's uh, Ducal Independence as well. Permaclaims on Burgundy or whatever. Let's try and fire that guy. Get a staff cost guy if we have him. We don't. Let's get it. So far, I'm thinking patience paid off. Oh, the thing is, France declared a PU war, right? So we... Wait, these guys are independent. Yeah, they are. But we're still fighting them. Okay, whatever. Uh, We got a piece of Burgundy here before France does, because then we'll end up fighting France, right? Yeah. Nice, we're getting occupations of some more stuff here. I mean, these are really the only th two things I can take. Neither of them are in France, but... Sweden is all low, and that's everyone knocked out. I'm getting so much war reps right now, it's insane. But that's it, only Burgundy is in this, man. What do we do with France here? Do we wait, or do we peace out? Because really, the only thing I can get here is this, right? <laughs> that's so much AE, actually, what the frick? Oh, and I really want stuff over here. We'll see. I think I wait for France, because unless Austria and England get bored, we can actually beat France. Oh, now France actually likes me. Hmm. I real married them. First idea group time, and boys, trust me, Diplo is going to be the name of the game here. So, yeah. I got to extend Regency here. I buried a wedding that uh, happened. That's great. France peaced out and... <laughs> okay, we are fighting France. Um, uh, these guys are going to peace out real soon, though. We got the war score. And whose vassal are we now? We're still Burgundy's vassal, technically, right? Yeah, so we still gotta get independence here, and then... Yeah, then what I... What should I do here? Then I can take pretty much anything, actually. Maybe we could connect our land somehow like this, and get this, too, to be connected to England. I know it's a lot of AE, but... Or do we stay having good relations with England if I fight them last? I think that's what we need to do. Keep being allied to England and Austria. Maybe try and get Castile as well, because they don't like France either. And then we could keep pummeling France and keep every keep England for last. Yeah, so in that case, I don't need that. England is on low. The thing is, I don't want these two guys piecing out. Yeah, there's England out. Even sacked Paris, and I think it's time to peace out, because we got a million uh, war exhaustion. And uh, yeah, we played both France and uh, Burgundy like a damn fiddle. So let's go ahead and peace out. I'm going to get independence right here. I think these are the provinces that I'm going to take. Actually, we're not going to be fighting wars for a while. I can get a little bit. Nope, I can't get a little bit. <laughs> there we go. We'll peace out at that. Let's get war reps as well. Austria is like super mad here. Let's get money too. Uh, that's done. That's it. Okay, let's uh, let's take that mission. Um, Try and lower, exhaustion, full lower war exhaustion as much as we can. And uh, trade favors for trust with Austria immediately. There we go. Now we're at 35. They still may break the alliance here. Sweet. I'm also going to join the HRE here. Perfect. All right. Uh, three provinces down, 67 to go. <laughs> oh, I thought it was Austria. Okay. Ooh. So yeah, right now the plan to, is to stabilize and I think just keep pummeling France, man. I think Austria and England would keep helping out if I can get Castile here too. That would be really good. And then, yeah, we can release like um, Gascony, Toulouse, a bunch of other guys that they annex. Do a lot of reconquests and then finally fight like England or something. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Ah, damn, forgot to extend Regency. That was actually a mistake. <laughs> uh, Let's go. What do we go with here? Yeah. Oh, this sucks. Austria isn't the emperor anymore. It's the palat in it. That means Austria won't be as strong. <laughs> Racked up uh, another bunch of allies. I think I am going to swap to a Burgundian state here once I get 50 uh, 
that. Now, realistically here, I could fight Liege, but then again, they're they're also allied to France, which has Burgundy, so there really is no one else I could fight. I really gotta wait for this truce. Meanwhile, I'm stabilizing. Money situation is good. Uh, dip point situation is not that good. I may even try to get myself elected emperor here. Okay, France ended up inheriting Burgundy, which actually makes things easier. And Diplorep is actually insane, and Castile still doesn't want to do anything with me, man. I really gotta get them. I'm gonna swap to the Burgundian state here. I need the Diplo relations. Okay, this is gonna come in handy. This is very nice. Uh, ooh. Stop it. Stop. Second idea group time. Second one has to be a mill one here. I'm gonna go offensive. Hmm, could we do it like this? No one else would help, I don't think. So these other allies are useless, man. Lorraine. Lorraine is right here. Genoa and Luke. Austria isn't that strong, man. Yo, what is this Serbia, by the way? Should I try and break my alliance with England? Because that's one of the reasons Castile doesn't want to ally me. Now, if I could pick between these two guys, Castile, which, is, which has Aragon and which is about to get Naples, or England. Let's try and go for Castile instead. They still don't like me enough, man. Actually, there it is. And I can re-ally England? Yeah, I can. Okay, if Castile threatens to break their alliance with me, though, I'll break it with England. Nice, let's, let's curry with these guys. Oh, yeah. Yep. Sweet, Castile just nabbed uh, Naples as well. Awesome, man. All we need is the favors with them, and these guys are toast, yo. They validate Venice in the meantime. That actually sucks. Austria is probably going to get pieced out in this war, but as long as these three boys come in. All right, well, we seem to be ready to go here, I guess. Um, I I'm going to take the first hit, because obviously France is next to me, and it's going to be a while before we piece the Italian guys out, but yeah, let's go. I'm going to get insane war exhaustion this war, bro. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's been easier than I thought, even though there was some scary moments. Uh, I'm gonna keep going because I want to make France uh, as blown up as possible. Made all of these guys break alliances except Venice. Yeah, I guess we're done here. Okay, let's peace out. Uh, I'm gonna take these provinces right here and let's go for Verdun as well. Yeah, we're still only fighting France, man. Uh, wait, do I get someone to release someone from? That's Dauphine. No, not enough provinces. Provence. Provence does have quite a lot of cores, man. We can actually... Can we release them from Verdun? No. Where can we release them from? Asatan culture? Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do this for now and then war reps. And make them pop someone out? I don't know. Fua? No, not Fua, because then Castile can fight them. Berry? I could fight Berry. Bourbon? Luxembourg? East Frisia. There we go. Let's make them as weak as possible. Apparently now we've expanded the... <laughs> that other guy died, but... Oh, I'm just loving these generals this campaign, man. There we go. Ain't no way, man. Ain't no way. <laughs> okay, so this is the second new champion of the Just, along with the another 100 tradition general from here. You know, it, it, it is Iron Man. Obviously, I can confirm here. Like, I don't know. Uh, there we go. Uh. Are you seeing this? Jesus Christ. Oh my God, please don't die. That's all I can say, please don't die. Sure, we don't have prestige or legitimacy, but hey, let's go with this. We've been playing for so long and look how small we are still. Yeah, the war ups money are coming in nicely. Since we're not doing anything either way, I think I'm gonna declare Milan a little uh, humiliation here. This actually took longer than I thought. I'm gonna show strength. Oh no. I think accepting would be a horrible idea. I'm gonna start the golden era. I still got a lot of favors with England. I wonder if I trade favors for trust, would they be willing to re-ally me? Okay, there's a re-ally with England. Next idea group time. I really gotta go with another mill one here, man. Uh, defensive. Focus up now. All right, boys, here's the situation. I popped off an accidental war declaration on uh, France. Now, you guys know that uh, I usually reload when I do this, right? I alt F4, but the thing is, <laughs> I alt F4, and both the recent save and the backup are October 1st, 1515. I think I messed something up, and uh, I can't reload to, like, the previous month. <laughs> um, wh wh What's the situation here? All right, they're tech 10. I'm tech 10. I can call it Austria and Castile. Castile's armies, I don't know where they are, dude. There's an army right here. I think most of them are in the New World. England, of course, wouldn't isn't willing to come in. Denmark isn't. All right, there's Austria. There's Castile. Yeah, France's boys still haven't joined in yet, but... Oh my god. Where can I go? Alright, if we win this war, we keep playing. If we lose, <laughs> that's it. 
This campaign is so tedious, man. France is just so strong. Even with these guys, you know, Castile's armies aren't even here. Like I'm saying, we, we just can't do it. We got to keep pummeling and keep pummeling these guys. My next 10 wars are just versus France, man. That's not even counting England and Brittany later on, which look at this. I mean, and let me tell you the, A okay, that's a little help. And let me tell you, the AI is a little different in this latest patch, man. They're their pathing is is just uh, seems unfamiliar to me right for example uh, austria right earlier they come in the earlier wars they come here like try and siege down something here but then when the french army comes they do this right they can just run away to here or here but they they keep making weird loops and stuff like that i don't know i'm not really liking the way ai is doing this but uh we got one fort yeah i tried to unblack flag myself walked in here and got stack wiped because i had nowhere to go if we lose to an accidental war declaration man it's gonna suck but hey it's it's classic a to z right there just just like the beginning ah wonderful wonderful <laughs> really the only option is castile and aragon saving my ass here yeah austria's out austria's not in this war anymore if castile pe wait aragon is independent no they're not why can they be separate piece then? Or maybe they can't. Uh, I don't know. Uh, if Castile dips here, that's it. We're done. Okay, so this is the Sish. I did manage to get Bourbon and these two forts and unsiege my capital. Really, the real MVP here has been uh, Naples, man. <laughs> Fully siege down. They helped me get this fort, this fort, and this fort. And uh, unsiege my own. So, yeah, before this army walks into here and into here, I think I gotta peace out. Because yeah, Castile has been beaten up. They're retreating. I don't know where Aragon's army is. These guys are about to get back these forts. So, we gotta call it, man. Let's get Lyon. Can't get Paris, huh? I can get Paris, actually, but it's like just Paris. <laughs> I can release like Toulouse from down here, right? Yeah, I'll sit hand Toulouse. How much more can I get? Damn, is Paris that valuable? Yeah, this is the max I can get. A lot of aggressive expansion, but frick it. I can't believe you won this. Yeah, meanwhile, Austria's freaking dead. I'll try and link with Bohemia here. Your five government reform time. I really don't know what we can, what we can go with uh, here. Yeah, maybe, maybe this. Okay, Bohemia's calling me into something. I may get elected here after the Bohemian guy dies. It would be a nice boost. This is how it's going, by the way. Ah, Great Peasants War. Hey, I got, uh, I got elected. Sweet. I'm gonna declare crush the peasantry on uh, these guys. Yeah. And with this, actually, Bohemia might even want to join versus France because they're no longer the emperor. Yeah, they would. Sweet. On this tier, I'm gonna swap to representatives of the crown. Okay, we do a little uh, force government. All right, it's time to actually do finally an easy war versus France. Let's do a little reconquest for this uh, province that I can't be bothered to pronounce. Denmark, Great Britain, Bohemia, and let's call in Trier and Spain with the promise of land. Cleves would even join. We outnumber them by so much. Okay, we're done. This is the peace deal. I'm going to give this back to Toulouse. I'm taking this for myself. I'm also going to release uh, whatever these guys were called, uh, Gascony. And then I'm giving this to Trier, because why not? Uh, Spain is going to be mad, but not really, because I'm going to trade favors for trust uh, immediately. And it's all going to be cool. Yeah, they lost trust, so I need to trade it for like 20 trust. There we go. We'll do that, and we're cool again. All right, let me go ahead and release Gascony. Perfect. These are their cores that we can reconquer. Excellent. There's that. Then we can give these guys that. Okay, time to chill until our truce is up again. But boy, did that feel good, man. Finally, an easy war. Finally, finally, I have the power that I've been looking for the entirety of the campaign. Council of Trent just fired, I think. Ah, oh, no, the Religious League War is going to happen right now, isn't it? Either way, I'm going to go conciliatory for the improved relations mainly, I think. Right? Yeah. All right, I made Britain break their alliance with Barry here. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight Barry. That's it. Wait, when did Poland join the HRE? <laughs> okay, I gotta start resetting my truces with France somehow, man. This waiting around is getting too much. But there's no ally that I can declare on. What? Right? How can I fight Bavaria or whatever? Okay, truce with France is once again up. It's finally come to the point where I can fight them again. But no, 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 no. no. I'm too angry to fight them again. So let's do a reconquest for uh, Wah right there and call in literally everyone. Yeah, there we go. Let's just stand on their provinces and obliterate them. Oh, dude, Savoy's guy is excommunicated. Right after this, I gotta make Spain break that alliance and declare on them. Okay, we're done here. I know I'm at the points cap with Mill. Let's just let's just do that. Uh, let's give everything back to Gascony here. Then I'm gonna take Paris because the mission wants me to take Paris. And then I think I'm gonna do something like this. Yeah, that's max war score for now. Perfect. Now I can integrate Gascony into Toulouse as soon as I make a Great Britain. Give that uh, back to Gascony. Let's see if we can actually do it right away. 
So there it is, Return Core Province. No, 63 favors. Okay, so I'll keep creating favors with these boys. And let's make... Ah, I can't make... Uh, they're fighting Inca. Okay, I'll, I'll be patient here. There we go, Castile just ended it. Break a land, Savoy, confirm. And let's declare on these guys immediately right here for the conquest of uh, Brescia. I'll only take Brescia and Siambri because, uh, well, those two are in France. Lots of annoying allies down here. I'm going to call in the Pope and Bohemia to help out. There's Perma Clams on France. Great, I'm, I'm still maxed out, dude. Okay, let's peace out just for this. Uh, there we go. There's uh, nobility integration right there. Let's annex to lose. Now I'm going to declare Brittany here for the conquest of whatever. Doesn't matter. There we go. Their capital. Going to call in everyone right here just to get it done super, super quick. Just so we can uh, reset our truce with France here. Because otherwise it's going to be up in like 11 years. Like this, I can shorten it by about 5 or 6 years. There we go. Just a white piece on France. Perfect. So our truce was uh, up in 66. We've shortened it for... Uh, yeah, let's see how much. Yeah, five years. And there's a full annexation on Brittany. Either way, as tiny as France looks, we still need two wars versus them. <laughs> and then probably just one versus Britain. And then one more with the Pope. There's two lose annexed. No, aristocratic court. Yeah, let's go with that. Halfway there. Painful. Please don't do this achievement. Never do it. There we go. Truce with France is up. Let's declare a conquest for Nemours right there. Once again, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep calling in everyone. Man, there's there's really no point in doing this. Aside from the fact that I got to call in Britain because otherwise they'll have their own truce with France and then they'll declare and then they'll get bigger. So I got to keep calling in Britain, most importantly. Uh, yeah. Thing is, I got to do stuff like this though, right? Or maybe not... It's just so slow, man. It's just so slow. Someone from Persia. Maybe it was the Timurids or... Wait, they got the Timurids anyway. Oh, yeah. Um, super nice to see Persia being formed in uh, King of Kings. You know what? I can't be bothered to wait just for this one Gascon core. So there it is. There's the alliance with uh, Britain gone as well. Let's start annexing Gascony. Truce with Britain is up. Let's do a little reconquest for Bordeaux. Britain is actually super powerful, so I'm calling in everyone. Okay, I uh, I had to stay in this versus Portugal right here as well, because otherwise I couldn't have gotten worse score. But that's enough to take everything that Britain has over in uh, France. No, Sweden, you absolute buffoons. Do I accept or not? Frick it, I'll accept. I can fight the Pope in the meantime. Okay, Sweden peaced out. I got two provinces. Okay, so the truce with France is 15 years. Nice, nice. Gascon, he's been annexed, and I just realized I need these two provinces as well that I gifted like three earlier, Nancy and uh, Metz. Yeah, we'll get to it. These three and these from France, and that's it. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. Wait, where's the auto missionaries that we were supposed to get this update? Right, uh, these guys won't accept a threatened war. There we go, there's Nanzig. Okay, Trier won't accept a threatened war either. That's the war for Metz done as well. Okay, why is no one threatened by me, man? And Avignon is mine as well. Perfect. Now all we need to do is score the stuff that we just uh, took from everyone, uh, meaning Avignon. And then when the truce with France is up in five years, hit them again just for these five provinces here. And that's it. We'll have the achievement. Very annoying. I do not recommend doing it. Diplo Annex of Vassal? How? Why is that there? I've Diplo Annex of Vassal. What the fuck? Yeah, these are the ones that I haven't done. I know. Is this like a new one that has just been added now? I don't think so. Final idea group time really doesn't matter here. Actually, no. Why did I go with this? Um, how did this become English? I guess it was an event, huh? Because I got an Engl English ruler, by the way. <laughs> uh, Meritocratic. Truce with France is up. Time for our final war. Finally. It's been so long. There we go. We're done. That's all I need. Boom. Uh, coalition may form. I may not have enough headman points to core it up. Actually, I do. Uh, there we go. We can do this mission right here. Boom. Unite core region. Now I can core this up. And uh, yeah, I'll start recording before I core these up and try and finally catch an achievement popping up right here behind me. Oh, I don't know why this was so exhausting. We've played campaigns longer than this, I guess, because it was just such a slog at the beginning. But uh, yeah, let's core these up. All right, let me uh, let me set it to uh, window capture and let me actually uh, remove myself here. Boom, there we go. I've disappeared. 
And uh, now, once these get cored up, you should see the achievement from Steam. Yep, there it is. Boom, never say nevers. Own the entire France region as core provinces. Now I can come back and continue recording just a game. But uh, yeah, there, there's the achievement. Never say nevers. That's our goal for this campaign. Finally accomplished but yeah there you go man start off as nevers a vassal of burgundy in these two provinces right here and uh even though i thought it would be very simple breaking free from these guys based on my experience with the burgundian uh, junior partners it was actually not as simple this time got a britain austria and uh friesland to support my independence and uh you know we waited we bided our time until the burgundian succession actually happened decently early and then france declared on these guys which meant you know they were busy with that so that's why i declared my own independence war uh france did end up pewing burgundy so i ended up fighting france after that took a few provinces right here and after that man it was just careful slow and steady wars and waiting of course that was all thanks to my allies in the early game uh you know england and austria since the start uh and then Castile and their boys, are now Spain later on, uh, they helped me beat up France in the wars where I was less powerful than them. But then once we became the HRE Emperor, man, things really started going well for us. Uh, grew our army, grew our land, kept pummeling uh, France in order to uh, finally conquer the entire French region. And, uh, you know, finally, before beating up France, we fought, you know, Brittany, we fought Great Britain, we fought who was here, Strasbourg, uh, Trier, even though I've reallied those guys, fought Savoy down here, fought the Pope, and uh, now we own the entire region of France as core provinces. A very, very big slog, this achievement. Right now, I'm once again poor uh, due to the amount of loans and interest that I have. But, uh, you know, at a certain point, we were making money quite a lot. There we go. I can even uh, go ahead and fix my loans up a little bit right here by paying the big interest ones back. Uh, our Army size massive HRE Emperor. This is one of the biggest HREs I've seen in a regular playthrough. Didn't get to the Religious League Wars, which I'm thankful. Uh, let's see the Great Powers list right here. I'm number four on the Great Powers list. All of these guys, well, at least these guys right here, were pretty close. Uh, Spain is a super powerful country. We've stayed allied. And uh, yeah, built some buildings, built some marketplaces, some production buildings, some churches, some army buildings as well. You can see uh, <laughs> from where to where we've expanded based on what we've uh, built over here. But uh, overall, a super fun campaign. Uh, pretty standard, I would say. I just, I don't know why it was that frustrating. I guess I'm uh, used to, you know, doing stuff all the time. Whereas this campaign, at least in the first half, was uh, quite a lot of waiting around so maybe that's why i got frustrated but uh nevertheless looking back on it now it was pretty fun and it was uh, actually not that frustrating even though this achievement is uh not that difficult ish i would say it's pretty tedious because you gotta keep pummeling the same guys over and uh over but yeah another a to z done another achievement done and uh, i do like it when we try and go for the achievements here in a to z we haven't had a failure in a while which is always excellent to see and uh yeah just a couple of more nations in season n until we get to uh until we get the season O. But uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. But, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm happy to say that this campaign as Nevers in A to Z has been a success. And that has been Nevers in A to Z. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with this nation next week. Hmm, I just had to taste some, uh, some rice there. But um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you like the content and want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.